Yeah. Welcome to another story from me uh, for the Spring into Story Time, which is taking place across the country. Um, uh, all libraries around the country are doing something similar. And we're reading Irish uh, writers and publishers and that kind of thing. That's part of it. We have a great selection of stuff to pick from. But um, I just said I'd pick this one here because it's a nice little uh, novel called Emma Says Boo by um, Anna Donovan, who's written the, the book. And Woody Fox has done illustrations. And it's published by, let me see up here, O'Brien Press. So... Um, this is part of the Solo series, which kind of is for younger readers. It's kind of picture book kind of style, but nice little novel size that they can get their hands on. Anyway, I think everyone can read the title. Emma says, Poo is the title of the book. And I think we'll have a bit of fun with it. Okay, without further delay, I'll open the book. Boo and Bear and Bertie Rooster and Emma says Boo. And it's over. Woody Fox. O'Brien oh, Press. Emma was sleepy. Peter was sleepy too. Time for bed, said Dad. Good night, Dad, Peter said. And he went upstairs. Emma got a glass of milk. Good night, Dad, she said. She checked in the hall to see if there was anything hiding there. She checked the stairs. It's a big, long staircase. She checked the landing. She checked... <gasps> Boo! Peter leapt out from his bedroom. He was wearing a mask. <sighs> Scary. Boo. Emma jumped. Ah! Emma screamed. Emma shrieked. Peter was pleased. He smiled. Good night, Anne, he said. And he shut his bedroom door. Bang! Oh, very upset. Emma sobbed and sobbed. But at last, she went to sleep. Next night, Peter waited behind the bathroom door. Sneaky Peter. Emma went up the stairs. She checked every corner. She checked the landing. She checked Peter's bedroom door. It was closed. Is it safe? Called Dad. Yes. Called Emma. She went into her room. She put on her pajamas. She went to the bathroom to brush her teeth. <gasps> Boo! Emma jumped. Teddy jumped. Teddy jumped very high. Peter laughed <laughs> and laughed. Emma roared. Emma sobbed. Emma yelled. Dad! Dad came running. Not again, he said. It's not fair, said Emma. Peter's mean. I hate him. You must make a plan, said Dad. They're scheming, I think. Emma sat up on her bed. She was thinking. She was thinking about scaring Peter. Next night, Emma whispered to Dad. He winked. Good night, Peter, Dad said. Sleep tight. Don't let the fleas bite, said Emma. P 
Peter hid behind the door of the spare room. He was wearing a sheet. He heard Emma coming up the stairs. <laughs> he waited until she was at the top. He bounced. But it wasn't Emma. It was... What was it? If I can open this page, we'll discover. It was... A huge ghost! Da, da, da. Whoa! Roared Peter. The ghost chased Peter down the stairs. Whoa! Dad! Dad! Screamed Peter. Pete, what's up? Ghost! Said Peter. Emma took off her sheet. She took the tall hat off her head. She put down the big sticks she had in her hand. Boo! She said. That was a bit funny. That was very funny. There at the back, Emma's angry. Her big brother loves to scare her. Molly jumps out at her in the dark. What can she do? Great little story. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.